Hello doctors and FMG aspirants. Myself Dr. Sasi. I cleared my FMG in Jan 2023 with a score of 238. And I completed my NEET PG with a rank of 1401 in 2024. With my experience and expertise in NB pattern of examination, today I am with you with must know and most important topics for your upcoming FMG examination. From physiology, for FMG, we get less number of questions because it is being integrated with medicine and pathology. So physiology will get around 5 to 8 questions as a proper physiological question and out of which most of them it will be from our topics. Fine. You need to find about this intracellular receptors like GPCS and tyrosine kinase receptors and about this transport mechanism. What are these transport mechanisms? Your SGLTs, your clothes. So all of these things you will be coming under the physiology. Next. About the action potential, you need to know they will draw this thing. They will draw this action potential and they will ask about this depolarization, plateau phase and the repolarization phase. Which of the following ion is responsible? It is same for the cardiac action potential as well. Next about the lung volumes and curves. Here they will ask you which of the following lung curve is this or in which of the following conditions you will be able to appreciate this type of flow volume loops. Fine. And next the muscle physiology. In muscle physiology mostly they will give this sarcomeric image and they will ask you which point is this or which line is this. Fine. And next about this absorption of nutrients in the GIT. So in GIT we know there is mass absorption of nutrients but mostly they will focus on iron, folic acid and the vitamin B12. So they will ask the places of its absorption. Next about the moments. About these moments they will ask which of the following is the pacemaker cell or they will give you this image of these moments and they will ask you which of the following moment is this. Which of the following chemical is causing constriction in a case of peristalsis or relaxation in a case of peristalsis. So remember all this thing. And the GAT hormones mostly it will be what? It will be related to the emptying of the stomach and the gallbladder contraction. So two hormones or few hormones will be responsible for this gastric emptying. So you need to learn about this gastric emptying hormone. And next about the part of nephrons. We know there are different parts of nephron. In nephrons what they will ask which of the following part of nephron there is the maximum absorption of water it is what it is the PCP. So mostly they will ask this question or else they can ask which of the following part is having the maximum ionic absorption. Fine. And the same thing can be modified in the pharmacological perspective also. Fine. Next about this Ross mechanism they will give you this diagram of this Ross mechanism and they will point you to some chemicals either renin or ACE enzyme. So they will point and they will ask you which of the following is this. So they will mark it as X and they will ask you which of the following is that. Fine. And next is about the nucleus of the thalamus and the hypothalamus nucleus. Mostly they will give this function of this nucleus and they will ask you what is the name of the nucleus which causing this function. Fine. And in cardiac cycle you need to learn about the heart sound. Mostly they will revolve around this isovolumetric contraction and isovolumetric relaxation. So if you study these important topics from the physiology, mostly you will be able to get the maximum questions of topic. Just remember one thing that time is now. So you should make use of this PDF or this video for sure. And if you are able to make use of this video, you will be able to get your pass mark and you will be able to get maximum mark from your FMG examination. Okay. I am waiting to see you with the other side with colorful colors of passing the examination. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye.